Storm Cloud 21, new day, new reviews. This is a carbonized Moth Gideon. So I'm going to be looking at that, opening that. Uh, something I had wanted in the past and I waited for the price to be better online. And I'm gonna talk about the Star Wars The Mandalorian Shore Trooper, carbonized as well. So I'm going to be opening up these flashy there's four options right here. And uh, we've already looked at this one, the armor. And now we're going to look at these two, Moff Gideon and the Shore Trooper. Star Wars, the vintage collection. Gotta love it. All this shininess, just like that back there. Shiny, shiny, shiny. Reflected with the light. Love it. Let's open it and get to it. First of all, I take it out of the packaging and I'm greeted with this cape thing for Moff Gideon. And here is Moff Gideon himself. Star Wars The Mandalorian. That is the uh, dark saber. There's a gun. Here is the man himself and look at that likeness. That is a very good, very screen accurate looking likeness the expression on the face the way that face is sculpted i think don't you i'm going to focus there this figure has articulation right there and then of course the wrist articulation and then of course you can go up and down a little you could see once it's broken that i could do that but it hasn't had a chance to yet you tilt his head around look around you can have his torso move, and then you can bend the legs right there. And then also you can bend uh, at the knee, there's the back right there, so you can see where you can do that at. There you go. Bend at the knee, and then you can see the pivot, the, uh, the feet, pivot forward, and you can pivot back. Once this is better been out of the packaging for a while and been used those joints will loosen up quickly you can see he has a place to peg in his cape let me take that just gonna peg that in there easy okay and you put his cape on i probably would want to not have that cape on much i don't really like it I like a better like this. Now you can see that as this dark saber thing you can like shove it in there and have it have it like that. Or you can take it out and you could put it in his hand. Put it in his hand like that. Wielding the dark saber. The focus range, you have to get the focus range on here. Tiny parts. The pistol in his hand, pull up to the focus it like that. That's pretty cool. Pretty neat. Of course, he could have the uh, the pistol and the dark saber in his hand at the same time. If you do it in those hands, there is a way to do that with both. Very cool. Now, in the same video, let's open up the Star Wars The Mandalorian also. Shore Trooper. Let's do it. And you know, this is a moment I've been waiting for for a very long time. I saw this in Walmart once. I skipped it. They wanted $21 and I wasn't going to pay that. Went online. Later on, way later on. Paid a ton, a lot less than that for this figure. Very cool. Carbonized, hence the shininess. Um, I do think that black should cover right there. I think that that's off. But it's really hard to find a good one of these problem where probably where it's not got um, that issue. So you can see that the uh, 
The knees have a joint there, wouldn't look like they do because of that, but they do. You can see that the feet swivel. You can see the torso moves. You can see that the arms go forward, but not much. Um, not much this way. They have a lot of room that way, but that's the wrong way to go. Interesting, huh? And then the head. And here is the uh, blaster. And the hand right there. You could also put it in the other hand. Now I take this figure out of the packaging, I am less impressed than when it was in the packaging. It was a lot better looking. Because now it's just more yellowy and boring. But it's a shore trooper. So there you have it. This is Stormy Cloud 21. Thank you for watching this review. Please hit that like and subscribe button to see more cool stuff coming up soon. Until then, until we meet again, thank you for watching and talk soon.